In Legends, following the collapse of the Empire and war against the Yuzhong Vong, a mysterious new Sith Order arose, seemingly out of nowhere. The sole leader of this new Sith Order was known as Darth Krayt, but Krayt was not a new figure in the galaxy. He had lived what seemed to him like many lives before this. Krayt is in many ways one of the most powerful and awe-inspiring Sith Lords, and one of my personal favorites. His skill and command over the Force rivals the likes of Palpatine and even Grand Master Luke Skywalker, and today we will analyze the extent of this legendary Dark Lord's abilities. To do so, however, we must start from the beginning, as legendary warriors are not crafted over one day, but many days gone by. Krayt was born a Tusken Raider on the planet of Tatooine, trained by his father Sherrod Het in the Jedi Way. Back then, the Sith Lord was called Asherod Het, and he was, even then, a fierce warrior, although somewhat unrefined. One day, the Jedi Master Kiadi Mundi sought out Asherod's father, pleading with him to return to the Jedi Order. However, Asherod's father had created a home among the Tusken Raiders, and he believed his place was there with his people. However, the bounty hunter and former Jedi Padawan Ora Singh too arrived on Tatooine and had an unquenchable thirst for Jedi blood. Through a series of events, Ora found herself in a heated duel with Asherod's father, Sherrod Het, eventually striking him down. Sherrod's dying wish was for his son to take his lightsaber and train to become a Jedi Knight under Mundi and right the wrongs he had caused, completing his training and bringing honor to the Het name once again. Asherod agreed, and together he and Mundi departed Tatooine for Coruscant to begin the training of the young Tusken. Over many years, Het developed into a skilled and powerful Jedi Knight, training to use his anger to his advantage by learning how to fully control it. Het became a noted Force user and especially duelist, defeating the likes of Aura Singh and standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Dark Woman in sparring matches. Eventually, Het would ascend to the rank of Jedi Master, proud to be a member of the Order and Defender of the Galaxy. Over Het's many missions as a Jedi Master and travels, he even came into contact with Anakin Skywalker, the young Jedi Padawan and prophesied Chosen One. Het aided the young boy in overcoming his hatred for Tusken Raiders, revealing underneath his headdress and mask he was a human, and revealed to Skywalker not all Tuskens were evil or bloodthirsty. Even then, Het witnessed the anger and frustration that resided inside of the young Skywalker. Het witnessed Anakin attempt to save one of their colleagues from dying through putting their body through much strain, forcing their windpipe to remain open, and needlessly causing them to suffer as opposed to allowing them to become one with the Force. Over the Clone Wars, Het was renowned as a powerful and wise master, faithful to the Jedi and their way of life. But one fateful day, all that Het held dear would be torn from his grasp, as his father had been years prior. On the day Order 66 was commenced, Het witnessed his very men slaughter his Jedi companions and turn their blasters on him. Het quickly killed all the clones but one, only keeping him alive long enough to determine why the clones had suddenly betrayed their Jedi friends. Het then fled to the only place he knew he could go, the desert planet of Tatooine. Once on Tatooine, Het took control of a Tusken tribe and began pillaging villages, allowing his hatred again to consume him. However, one day Het encountered a face on the desert world he had not seen for a very long time. On the desert plains, Obi-Wan Kenobi stood before Het and demanded the raiding and conquering cease. Het refused the Master Jedi's pleas, instead opting to engage in a heated lightsaber duel where the two Jedi Masters fought under the blazing twin suns of the planet. Eventually, Obi-Wan disarmed Het, and he fell to his knees, begging for Kenobi to end him, but he did not. Ashamed of his defeat and utterly losing his way, Het abandoned his tribe and the planet of Tatooine, becoming a bounty hunter for several years until one day discovering an ancient Sith temple on the planet of Korriban. Upon entering the temple, Het was engulfed by the power of the dark side, and discovered the holocron of the Sith Lord, Zozan. For what seemed like moments, Het devoured the knowledge of the holocron, learning all he could from the ancient knowledge until he felt himself ready to finally take revenge and destroy the Sith Lords known as Sidious and Vader. Het had learned much from the holocron, and when he felt ready, he exited the temple, prepared to destroy both Vader and Sidious. But upon exiting, he discovered the Empire was coming to an end, as both Sidious and Vader had been killed above the forest moon of Endor. Het, now feeling fully lost, ventured into the unknown regions of space, where he encountered a horror unknown by most, and famously say, it was here that I discovered unknown, 
does not mean empty. Once in the unknown regions, Het was captured and tortured by the Yuzhong Vong, who captured him in hopes that he would prove to be a powerful apprentice. The Vong experimented on Het, removing one of his eyes and replacing it, and removing other parts of his body, placing Vong Coral in his very bones as it painfully regrew his limbs. It was here that Het fully embraced his pain, giving fully into the lulls of the dark side. Het then deemed himself Darth Krait, Lord of the Sith, and used the great power he felt endlessly stirring within him to free himself from his prison, and yet again ventured to Korriban. Once there, he would enter the temple yet again, still an apprentice of the Sith, but later exit a final time as the Dark Lord. Krait would then enter stasis as his body necessitated time to heal after the Vong experiments. However, Krait's mind wandered, reaching out to other Darksiders across the galaxy, informing them their new master was waiting. Over decades, Krait amassed a group of Sith solely dedicated to his cause and the rule of one Sith. Krait had obtained many abilities over his many years. Krait gained knowledge over the Shatterpoint ability that he could use to perceive faults and weaknesses through the Force and exploit them often coupling this ability with his force lightning for devastating effects. Krait also became a talented hand at force lightning, to the point where he could engulf an individual in it while not harming them at all. Though his raw power with the ability may not have been on the level of Darth Sidious, his control over it was definitely comparable. Krait was also extremely talented with telekinesis, able to catch large items thrown at him and send them hurling back to their place of origin. Krait's durability was incredible, as he had survived so much prior to his full dedication to the dark side, with the Yuzhong Vong pushing him to his limits, and only his hatred pulling him back from the brink. Krait for years would use his hatred to fuel his seemingly endless flame, enduring multiple shots from blaster fire, a lightsaber through the abdomen, and back, multiple physical blows from the entity Abeloth, and finally, the force lightning and betrayal of his most trusted servant. In many ways, Krait's biggest weakness was his age and the torture he endured years prior. Ironically, the experiments that granted him his immense power through the pain he constantly dealt with also injured him a great deal. The Vong Corals inside his body, coupled with his natural age, worried Krait a great deal, as he had come so close to his ultimate goals but could feel his body slowing and aching. This caused Krait to seek out help, and someone who could potentially heal his sickness. Krait also became aware of a powerful former Jedi, Cade Skywalker, who Krait saw as a valuable potential host to transfer his consciousness into if his own body failed him. Krait eventually found the ancient Sith Lord called Myr, who agreed to heal him, and once venturing to the Sith, the process began. However, Krait was betrayed, and Myr along with the remaining Jedi attacked, and greatly injured him. However, even this did not kill the Sith, as he then revealed to his most trusted servant, Darth Warlock, that through his connection with Myr, he realized how to heal himself. This is yet another testament to Krait's knowledge and power, as even just witnessing a complex ability at work, because of his many decades of training, he could surmise how to use it. However, in this moment, his servant betrayed him, seemingly killing his master and leaving him. But Krait refused to die, literally forcing his spirit to remain with his body. He then began the long process of healing his wounds himself. Krait's body eventually fully recovered, and the Dark Lord returned with more knowledge than ever, displaying he had the ability to touch the minds of all the Dark Side users in the galaxy, and literally force his spirit to remain after death. Krait then exacted his revenge on his former servant, killing him with his skill with the lightsaber. Krait was a legendary duelist, renowned galaxy-wide, being a specializer of Jar Kai dual blade fencing, but also more than capable of fighting with one blade. Krait had undergone extensive training as both a Sith and a Jedi, and was a master of every lightsaber form, being highly randomized but highly precise with his sequences. During his duels, Krait could seamlessly transition styles in the blink of an eye, and truly decipher his opponent, breaking down their every move through his decades of combat experience, and then adapting to the appropriate style needed to overtake them. Unlike Sith Lords like Sidious, Krait took great pride in his abilities with the lightsaber, and even above that, his ability on how to implement his vast knowledge and skill into a duel. Along with this, Krait utilized his skill with Shatterpoint to see the weaknesses in his opponents, long before their blades ever crossed paths. There are few characters in the whole of the Star Wars universe that rival the dueling prowess of Darth Krait. To close, I want to say this. I view Krait as the Obi-Wan Kenobi of the Sith. He is not inherently insanely powerful and gifted with the Force, 
but has utilized his time most effectively, learning the ins and outs of its many gifts and devouring all of its teachings. Crate lived for so long and learned so much, his knowledge is by far his greatest weapon, as he has such a vast knowledge of all the abilities of the dark side, and before this, was renowned throughout the Jedi Order for his dedication to its teachings and commitment to learning as much as he could. Crate to me is the wise man that has walked many roads and taken many paths, adopting the role of Tusken Raider and Jedi to Bounty Hunter and finally, Lord of the Sith. And because of this vast experience, Crate became one of the most powerful and legendary Sith in all of Star Wars. Crate's iron will is also a testament to his insane power, as it is this will that has facilitated him to endure so much pain, but learn from every step of it. It is for all of these reasons that Darth Krayt ranks among my favorite characters in the whole of the Star Wars universe. Anyway guys, that was my breakdown for Krayt. I really do love this character, and if you're interested to read more about him, his legend was told through the Legacy comics. Please feel free to suggest future characters for the How Powerful series, you can leave it in the comment section down below, or you can tweet them at me at StupendousWave on Twitter. Thank you guys as always so much for watching, it really means the world to me. May the force be with you, and have a great day.